Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Hermit Skies. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am having an amazing day. And in today's episode, I would really like to build the barn that we talked about in last episode, where we're going to keep all of our fluid cows and milk them. Uh, so I've kind of uh, made a little doorway over here. We're going to have a path, and this path is going to go into the barn. The barn's going to be like right here. So that's kind of the plan. Um, I think primarily I want to build the barn out of red hardened clay. And if we look at hardened clay, I've got 60 of it. That's not going to be nearly enough. And yes, I could get clay fairly easily by, you know, taking the clay balls and doing that and, you know, turning them into clay and smelting it up. But that's no fun. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit. Uh, we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, when I went exploring last episode to find all the fluid cows, I also grabbed any of these dimlet things that I could find uh, as I was exploring out there. And one of them, I just gotta find it. One of these is hardened clay. There it is. So we'll be able to take that and make a dimlet that will have hardened clay in it. And then we'll be able to just get ridiculous amounts of hardened clay. So here's the plan. Uh, let's go and make an empty dimension tab, and we'll throw that into here, along with this guy. There are dangling modifiers. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. That's okay. Um, meaning we're we're only the only thing I'm controlling is that the primary uh, material here is going to be the uh the hardened clay now oh if i do that that's gonna get rid of the wither dimension it should be fine uh, this is gonna be kind of a temporary thing yeah it, sh it should be okay i think uh let me go chest it's not gonna delete the dimension it'll just like if you go there Bad things will happen. Oh, that chest had stuff in it. Okay, whatever. Either way, we've got this dimension built. So, let's pop over there. It would probably help if I went to the right spot. Um, you, here, dial once. And... This is not hardened clay at all. This, this looks very different than what I was expecting. Um. Okay. So change of plans. <laughs> uh, let's go back home. That did not work as I had thought it was going to work. So let's try this again. So we'll put this. Uh, uh, nope. That one. There we go. We'll extract. We want this. And then we need... Um, Let's look at our... Oh, actually, all of our dimlets are over here. So we need to modify the terrain. So we're going to need a feature terrain dimlet. Here we go. Islands grid solid. There we go. And let's try this instead. So we'll go uh, like so, store. And now let's toss that in here. And now that should work. Dangling modifiers, that's what it was talking about. Because I wasn't telling it what to modify. I was hoping it would just work uh, without me having to tell it the thing to modify. But uh, apparently that's not the case. And that's fine. Okay, there we go. So now we will dial once and let's try this again. There we go. That's a little bit more like it. So this is essentially a giant solid hardened clay <laughs> dimension. That's basic. This entire dimension is essentially hardened clay. Uh, so let me grab a couple torches. And we'll go boop, 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 like so. And then let's just kind of dig out a little thing like over here. 
And we'll dig out like a little bit of a room. Like so. And that should be fine. And then I'm gonna grab a dimensional transceiver, which I will put right here. We'll grab our RF tools builder, which I will put right here. We'll grab our shape card and I will right click this, say first corner goes here. And then we're gonna go this way for a while. That should be good. And then we'll go this way for a while. Do 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 do. Again, that should be good. I mean, this is only for the barn, so. And we'll go down to here. Oh, looks like there are actually ores and stuff. And then we'll say right there. Okay. So now we should have essentially like this really large mining area that's just going to be mined out by the quarry. And we'll kind of light some of this up because otherwise we're going to have mobs. Look, look at all the mobs that spawned just in this tiny short amount of time. We're lucky there are no creepers here and that it's all just skeletons. Okay, I think we're good. So now we put you into here and I need to grab a lever like so. We'll grab a, uh, let's just do a diamond chest. We'll make one of those. Like that. Put that right here. And that should start. Oh, that should start quarrying this whole thing out. So we're just going to get tons and tons and tons and tons of hardened clay. And that will be plenty of hardened clay for the purposes of our project here. Now, uh, before I send this stuff home, I do probably uh, also will say. Uh, hardened clay dimension and that can be public I think I, I don't really have any problem with other hermits coming here to mine out copious amounts of hardened clay so we'll do that and then before I uh, before I start sending this stuff back to my system I want to make sure that I have hardened clay here in my system so it doesn't just like flood my ME system with ridiculous amounts of stuff so that should be fine. We'll say harden clay. Dial once. Poof on over. And then we'll grab some item conduits and some speed upgrades. And we'll send extract always like so. Insert, make sure this is sending items. So that will start draining all of this stuff and we're gonna get tons and tons and tons and tons of hardened clay. Uh, and that should work out for us pretty well. So there we go. That takes care of our hardened clay problem. Now, let's head back home. And let's go. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go here. Let's see how much hardened, we've already gotten 2000 hardened clay. So we're set there. Uh, so now we wanna make that into red hardened clay. And let's just make a bunch of it. If you're wondering how I got the red dye, you can get uh, rose bushes by throwing them into a mana pool with a, a, an alchemical, an uh, alchemi uh, alchemy catalyst or whatever it is underneath it. And then you can just use bone meal to, you know, make more and more rose bushes. So that's what I did. Uh, so let's kind of uh, let's kind of mark out the barn here. I want the barn to start. I think right. Let's actually do like a three, well, hmm. Let's think about this for a minute. Let's grab our chisel. Uh, let's put the red hardened clay away. Let's grab some spruce. That's more than I need, but that's fine. Uh, and let's do these guys. And then we'll kind of bring this out a little bit. So we got one, two, three, four, five, Space one, 
two, three, four, five. Because I, what I kind of want here is like a, a little walkway. And I think if we start the barn like here, this will be good. So let's put that stuff back. Grab our red hardened clay. Ah, I keep grabbing things I don't want to. There we go. That should be fine. And then let's say we're going to have like a three high entrance like so. The interior of this, I think we are going to go with the spruce for the floors, or at least for some of the floors. Let's kind of go like so. So that's five. Let's maybe go like six because this place is going to be pretty big because we need room for all the different cows and stuff. So... Let's see. And each cell is going to basically be just big enough to hold a cow. So we'll go probably out to here is what I'm thinking. That's still going to be like super skinny, but that's okay. Um, do, 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 do. So we want to go wand. Grab our super builder's wand. And I'm going to need to make a whole bunch more of these spruce uh, things. So let's just make a bunch like that. Go here, go to these, like so. Chisel all. And then we got to start bringing this over. So tell you what, let me get some construction done on the barn, guys. I'll be back with you in just a minute. All right, guys, I am back. I've been doing some work, and uh, this is kind of what the barn is going to look like. I mean, obviously, the walls are going to be built up, and we'll have a roof, and it'll be a proper barn. Um, but this is kind of the the base of it, right? So we have basically uh, all these little cells, and each cell has a mechanical user. And then the mechanical user feeds out through an item conduit that feeds into another mechanical user, just like we did last episode. Uh, so what we still need to do... The bottom row is basically done. Um, I just need to get the actual cows in and get the buckets and the um, the drums or whatever we're going to store the fluid in. Uh, the top row has the mechanical users in place, but I haven't configured all the conduits and I haven't put the, uh, the, second, step, uh, the second level of drums and all that kind of stuff in it as well. Uh, I figure we'll fill up the bottom uh, of the, like the first floor before we move on to the second. And each one of these is 16... Uh, slots. So all in all, we have a grand total of 64 slots here for cows. Um, and I don't know if we even have 64 different types of cows. So yeah, that's the thing. Now, uh, let's talk about drums, right? So there's the iron drums here. These guys will hold 256 buckets of whatever. Um, you can upgrade those to a reinforced large drum. And that will hold 4,096 buckets. Or you can go a little crazy. And you can make the demonically gargantuan drum. And that will hold 65,536 buckets. And that's what we're going to be using, is the, de the demonically gargantuan ones. Uh, there are also quantum tanks. Here from Quantum Storage, uh, but each one of these requires three Iridium ingots, a 64k ME storage component, and retrieval, uh, fluid retrieval nodes and stuff, so, uh, like, this will basically hold an infinite amount of fluid, but I honestly see, think 65,000 buckets of a fluid is probably gonna be enough, so, uh, we'll stick with the drums. So, what I need to do is I need to make, basically, a stack, I'm gonna make a stack of these drums, so let's make a stack of cauldrons, make a stack of the iron drums, and then we'll upgrade though. Oh, I need to make probably two stacks of weighted pressure plates. And we'll make a stack of the reinforced large drums. And then we want two stacks of these Klein bottles. And I already went to the nether to make a whole bunch more demon ingots. So we now have a stack of these guys. And we will just put one in front of each of these mechanical users. 
and that will get the job done for us. Uh, and that is basically, um, you know, good to go. So now we can store a ridiculous quantity of whatever the cow is. Uh, so we'll just put 64 of those guys down. Uh, and then we'll have enough for the second row, uh, or the second floor as well. So now, uh, I think what I want to do is I want to start getting some of these cows in there. So let's grab a safari net. And we'll start... Um, let's see. You know what I could do? I mean, basically all of my cows are in this chest... So, I suppose what we could do to save me a little bit of time, let's just grab one of those cardboard boxes from Mechanism. And we'll just take the whole dang thing with us. That's the easiest way to do it. Uh, and then out this way. Here we go. So, uh, we will go... Boop. Uh, should right-click the box to get that off. And then... We just got to put these guys in here. So we'll go... Boop. There we go. Molten Infinity. So we have a Molten Infinity cow here. Uh, and we'll go... Uh, I should also probably make a stack of buckets, honestly. Let's just do that. So we'll try to milk the cow. I don't think we're going to be able to milk everything. The other thing we need to do, we are on a server. So we need to be... Uh, courteous of other hermits. So I think what I want to do, I'm going to make a stack of name tags. Uh, I need more paper. Let's just go like so. We'll make some name tags. And then let's actually go ahead and make a dark steel anvil as well. This is basically just like a vanilla anvil, except it lasts way longer. So what we're going to do is we'll take a name tag for each of these cows, and we'll just say, uh, I'm just gonna name them whatever they are. So, Molten Infinity, this guy is Molten Infinity, so we'll just do that, right? And what that does is it removes this cow from the mob cap, so it won't prevent passive mobs from spawning at other people's bases and stuff like that, uh, and I think that, you know, that's an important thing for being courteous if you're playing on a server with someone else in a sky block like this, where passive mob spawns are so important. Um, we want to make sure that we're not blocking other people from being able to spawn, because this is probably going to be an area that, that I chunk load. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of the deal. So, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get all of these cows, we're going to put them where we belong. Uh, any duplicates, I'm just going to put down here. So if we already have, like, a Molten Infinity cow, I'm just going to leave the cow, uh, back in the chest. Because there's really no need for us to have duplicates here, it's just not necessary. Uh, and we'll just kind of go in, put them all where they belong. Molten Brass, Destabilized Redstone. Uh, and then we'll just kind of toss that stuff back in the system. I'll get them all named. Everything will be good. So, let me get to it, guys. I'll be back. All right, guys. I'm back, and I think it's good to go. Um, we've got all of the cows in place. Uh, they're all good. Uh, there's a couple of them that I haven't quite got uh, quite gotten configured yet like this one right here for example there we go uh, and it, there's this weird bug that I kind of ran into where if you use a bucket yourself on the cow like it glitches out and at the moment you open your inventory the the stuff goes away so what I've had to do was uh, put the bucket in a mechanical user to let the mechanical user fill it up the first time, and then the bucket's fine. It was very, very strange. Uh, but anyway, I've got all the cows in here. There are a total of 64. Um, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cows that I didn't uh, put in here uh, that, for whatever reason, either I didn't need them or other things took priority. Uh, and then these are all duplicates over here. So... Uh, that all seems to work. Um, I think the next thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and uh, get everything up and run. This one's just not doing it, is it? Huh. Okay, well, either way, uh, I want to go ahead and get the barn itself actually kind of made and, and looking a little bit better. So let's grab some quartz stairs and some quartz blocks. Uh, let's just grab. There we go. That ought to be good. And I think what we want is probably about 
here-ish. Yeah. Uh, what we're going to want to do is kind of bring up sort of a barn roof, right? And I'm sure you're kind of familiar with the shape. But I think it's technically referred to as like a Dutch gabled roof or something along those lines. Uh, but we'll go up. And then like so. Uh, this is going to be a really big, isn't it? Uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing, though, because that means that we'll have room to do a whole nother layer if I feel so inclined. Let's see here. Let's go up maybe one more at that elevation, right? And then we'll go over like this. Oh, and the other thing, too. I do need to change this up a little bit, don't I? Well, hmm. I'm just thinking. Because what we could do is something like that, which would be a little bit thicker. Go like here. And there, right? Hmm, yeah, that might work. That might be fine. Uh, so, let's see. Stare, stare, stare. Uh, break those two and those two. And then we'd break that. And good, that's lined up properly now. Okay, so then we'll go like here. And over again, like so. Let's go one more like that. We're, we're quickly... This is, uh... Hmm. This is becoming much taller than I had kind of anticipated, but I think that's okay. It's just kind of a matter of bringing it to a point now. Uh, and let's grab some fort slabs. And it looks like I need to make some, but that's okay. We can do that. So we'll go like here. And then we'll kind of bring it over at an angle like that. And there's kind of like our, you know, very stereotypical barn roof, so to speak. Um... So, from there, what we would do is grab red hardened clay. And we would kind of mark out the outline. Behind these blocks, like, oh, that one needs to turn. Like so. As does that one. There we go. And something like this, right? To give us kind of our barn shape. Oop, come back you. There we go. And like, oop, well that one got misplaced, but that's fine. And then we'll go red. Is that really all the red hardened clay that I have? It is, wow. We went through quite a lot of it. Uh, that's fine though. Ooh, they. We don't want to. We don't want to do that. Let's bring this over like that, and now we should be able to use our builder's wand to fill all of that in. There we go. So there's our barn, and it's huge, and it, you know, it, it's not. It doesn't look great just yet. Just, uh, give, just give it. Give me a minute. <laughs> Let me get it all looking good. Uh, you know, have a little faith here. I know it doesn't look like much right now, but uh, it will be better before we are finished here. So I think what we'll do is like right here, we'll go stairs and then kind of bring this over like so to kind of mark out the entrance, right? And that should be good. And then I think we will probably want like a, a big picture window or something up here, I think. Maybe like that. How's that? 
size what? Uh, that needs to be bigger. Let's go there. Yeah, that feels much better. That'll do. So then we need to basically copy that on the other side and fill in the roof. And I think for the roof, I'll probably use... Hmm, maybe spruce or dark oak planks? One of the two. I'm not entirely sure which one yet. Um, but tell you what, let me get some building done here. Let me get this, uh, this barn all sorted out and everything. I'll be back with you in just a sec. All right, guys, I am back, and I think the barn is, uh, pretty much done. I mean, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but, uh, it gets the job done. Uh, we can always improve on it later if we feel so inclined. I think for now, though, I'm pretty, I'm fine with the way it looks. Uh, so basically, you come in here, you got all the fluid cows, they're all named, it all does the thing. Uh, for the moment, to access the drums and stuff, you have to actually fly down and around, but... Uh, that's okay, because it's not going to be a big deal. Um, but yeah, it's all done. It's good to go. Now, I want to test something that I didn't think of before uh, when it comes to this Molten Infinity. Because the thing is, like, Infinity is so difficult. Oh, I don't have Blazing Pyrothium in the th Okay, well, I'm going to have to fix that, but that's fine. Um, Infinity is so difficult to get in this mod pack that I think you really, you have to explore all possible options, right? Like, I think you, I think you have to. You're, you're like, obligated to. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab some fluid conduits. I'll just grab these pressurized ones. We'll put them here. We'll say, insert. And I'm going to say, extract always. And that should start putting infinity into here fairly quickly. Okay, so I'll just let this fill up for a little bit. That's probably good enough for now. So let's let's stop it. Okay, so we've done that. Now, if I break this and we say extract always and insert... I didn't think so. Okay, I, I had to check. <laughs> I had to check and see if you could use a, a fluid conduit to export it into here. Uh, which would be a little cheaty, but if it worked, I would be like the happiest person ever. So, you know, I, I, I had to look. I had to look and see. Um, is there any other way to make in? Infinity blocks. I don't think there would be. Like, it, yeah, it would. If you'd have to extract it from here, and that's it's it's not working. And that's that's what I figured was going to happen. I was going to be very 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 surprised if that worked. But it was worth a shot. So, all right, let's go extract always and insert, and we will put all of this lovely stuff back into the drum. Uh, meaning Molten Infidium, uh, Molten Infinity, I should say. Mostly useless, not entirely useless, but mostly useless. Pretty much the only thing it's going to be good for is, uh, is making Tinker's stuff. And, eh, at that point, like, well, you know, what do you do? Um, did we drain it all? We did. But you had to try, right? Like, how can you not attempt? <laughs> <laughs> How can you not make that attempt? Uh, the other thing we need to do is I need a safari net and we need to grab this blazing pyrothium cow because that's very valuable. Uh, that, like that's that's super, super valuable. And I want to I want lots of blazing pyrothium. So I need to take one of the cows out of here and put in uh, the blazing pyrothium cow instead. And I'm not really sure who I should get rid of. Um, let's see. What do I not really need? I mean, to be honest, I probably don't need iron just because I have so many other methods of getting iron. Like, I, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Let's get rid of the iron one. Um, here, grab you out, put you in place instead. And then we need to come 
Let's see. I need to be able to find the iron one again. I think it was that meat. Am I even on the right side? I think I am. That's, oh yeah, yeah, it's this one right here. This is, this is the iron one. So we need to make sure we grab this, but I gotta wait for it to fill up with blazing pyrothium first. So not a big deal. We'll let it do its thing uh, and all will be well. We can break this in the meantime and we have some molten conductive iron, but let's grab one drum and this drum I believe is empty, right? Yes, good. Uh, so that's completely empty. Once I have the blazing pyrothium in here, I'll be able to get this all going and it should be good to go. But guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. I think I am very much out of time for this one. So my friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.